Today, we're gonna to talk about what an oil separator is, where we might find them, and why we need them. Oil separators prevent harmful oily waste from entering the public collection system and local waterways. Most cities and towns require oil separators to be installed at facilities where oily drainage may occur. Most wastewater treatment plants are not set up to receive and treat oily waste. Typical applications include auto service and repair stations, hydraulic elevator pits, firehouses and police stations, car washes, and parking garages. Typical materials of construction include polyethylene, concrete, and steel. Each material has its own benefits and drawbacks, which include longevity of the material, price, and owner preference. Oil separators use a principle called gravity differential separation, which means it allows the oil to float within the tank and it allows water to pass through it. Oil separators can be designed many different ways, but should follow these general requirements. The manhole should have a gasketed cover with the correct load rating. Because the contents of the tank are flammable, the separator should have a vent connection to independently vent the tank to atmosphere. The tank should contain an outlet sewer gas seal acceptable by the local jurisdiction. This is to prevent sewer gases from entering the tank, and it also prevents floating oil from exiting the tank. Ensure your oil separator is sized with sufficient solids capacity. There are many applications that have increased solids loading in the form of salts, sands, sediment, and mud. Oil separators are typically pumped out on an annual maintenance interval by a professional pumper contractor. The size of an oil separator depends on the application and local jurisdictional requirements. To select the appropriate size oil separator, reach out to the manufacturer or the manufacturer's representative. For more information like this, check out our videos on our YouTube channel under Stream. Thank you for watching.